Hey fellow travellers, welcome back to another exhilarating episode of Asia Unveiled. Ever imagined navigating through neon lit streets, tapping your feet to catchy K-pop tunes or indulging in the tantalising flavours of kimchi and bibimbap? Today we're setting our compass towards the vibrant nation of South Korea. Prepare to embark on a roller coaster of 45 fascinating facts about South Korea's stunning landscapes, rich history, and cutting edge modernity. Buckle up and let's get started. Number 1. Officially the Republic of Korea, South Korea covers the southern part of the Korean peninsula. Blending serene mountain temples with bustling cities, it's where tradition meets innovation. With a population of around 51 million, it's a vibrant hub of culture and technology. Number 2. South Korea boasts 12 UNESCO World Heritage Sites, from ancient palaces to historic villages, showcasing its deep-rooted history and rich cultural heritage. Number 3. K-pop, anyone? The global musical phenomenon originates right here, with megagroups like BTS and Blackpink winning hearts worldwide with their energetic tunes and charismatic performances. Number 4. Ever wondered where your Samsung phone or LG TV originated? Both giants hail from South Korea, reflecting the country's massive influence in global technology and innovation. Number 5. The Han River flows through Seoul, South Korea's capital, providing an urban oasis for recreation. Locals enjoy picnics, cycling, and even water sports along its picturesque banks. Number 6. Speaking of food, Korean cuisine is a gastronomic adventure. From spicy kimchi to delectable bulgogi and the popular Korean BBQ, it's a flavorful dish for every palate. Number 7. Jeju Island, a volcanic island off Korea's southern coast, is famed for its stunning beaches, lava tubes, and the iconic Jeju tangerines, a lover's paradise. It's a top honeymoon destination for Koreans. Number 8. Due to security reasons, Google Maps' functionalities are limited in South Korea. Instead, apps like Kakao Map and Naver Map dominate the local navigation scene. Number 9. The DMZ Demilitarized zone divides North and South Korea. Despite its political implications, it's become an unexpected wildlife sanctuary due to human exclusion, with various rare species thriving there. Number 10. South Koreans are big on skincare. The 10 step Korean skincare routine, emphasizing deep cleansing, hydration, and sun protection, has gained immense popularity globally. Number 11. Dive into romance with Soga Eating, a blind date arranged by friends. If sparks fly, they move to meetings, group hangouts with other couples. In South Korea, love often blooms in a group setting. Number 12. South Korea is the birthplace of Taekwondo, a martial art that emphasizes high kicks and jumping, spinning kicks. It's not just a sport but a philosophy promoting discipline and self-improvement. Number 13. For bookworms, the Starfield Library in Seoul is a dream. This architectural marvel, with towering shelves and thousands of books, is open to the public, melding modern design with a timeless allure of reading. Number 14. If you're out at night, the streets of South Korea won't disappoint. Night markets like Myeongdong are bustling with activity, offering mouth-watering street food, cosmetics, and quirky gadgets. Number 15. The Boryong Mud Festival is a unique annual event attracting millions. Participants frolic in mineral-rich mud, believed to have rejuvenating properties, turning the event into a mucky, fun-filled fiesta. Number 16. Let's talk about Korea's national flower, the Mugungwa, or Rose of Sharon. It blooms every year, symbolizing the resilient spirit of the Korean people who've withstood various challenges over the millennia. Number 17. Talking about karaoke. Noraebang, literally translating to song room, is a popular pastime in Korea. Friends, families, and even colleagues bond over singing their hearts out in these private karaoke rooms. Number 18. Korea's architectural marvel, the traditional hanok, is built considering its natural surroundings. With its gracefully curved roofs and wooden structures, it offers a cool refuge in summer and retains warmth in winter. Number 19. The concept of Jiong is integral to Korean relationships. It's a deep emotional bond that ties together people, be it family, friends, or lovers. It's an unspoken love, sympathy, and warmth foundational to Korean connections. Number 20. Fans of K-pop, this one's for you. Do you know that Gangnam, a district in Seoul immortalized by size Gangnam style, is actually Korea's upscale fashion and entertainment hub, often referred to as the Beverly Hills of Seoul? Number 21. Jeju Island isn't just a romantic getaway, it's home to the enigmatic Hainyo or Sea Women. These female divers, often in their 60s or older, plunge deep into the sea to harvest marine goods, carrying on a tradition that dates back centuries. Number 22. Korean meals are never complete without an array of colorful side dishes known as banchan. These range from fermented veggies, salads to tiny fish, and they complement the main dishes perfectly. Number 23. In South Korea, when a baby turns one year old, 
a celebration called Doljanchi is held. A highlight is the Doljabi, where the baby is placed in front of various objects, and what they choose is believed to predict their future profession. Number 24. If you're ever in Korea during Chuseok, a tradition similar to American Thanksgiving, you're in for a treat. Families reunite, prepare special foods and pay respects to ancestors in this heartwarming festival. Number 25. Hangul, the Korean alphabet, was introduced in the 15th century by King Sejong to promote literacy. Its brilliance? You can learn it in just a few hours, and it's scientifically designed to mimic the shape your mouth makes when pronouncing each sound. Number 26. Toilet talk. South Korea boasts themed cafes like none other. Believe it or not, there's a popular toilet-themed cafe in Seoul where you can sip your latte from a miniature toilet bowl. Number 27. Love spicy food? Challenge yourself with the famous Korean fire noodles. These instant noodles are not for the faint-hearted but have gained cult status among spice lovers worldwide. Number 28. While most countries welcome the New Year with fireworks, South Koreans traditionally ring a large bell in Seoul 33 times, representing the 33 Buddhist scriptures, to cleanse the spirit and welcome in fresh beginnings. Number 29. In Korea, age isn't just a number. Here, everyone is considered a year older when they're born and gains another year every New Year's. So, if you were born in late December, you'd be two years old by January. Number 30. In South Korea, red ink isn't just for correcting papers. Traditionally, writing someone's name in red means that they were deceased. While modern Koreans may not be as superstitious, it's still considered disrespectful to write a living person's name in red. Number 31. Street food lovers. Korea won't disappoint. From spicy rice cakes, Tteokboki, to Korean-style pancakes, Jeon, every corner in places like Myeongdong offers a gastronomic delight. Number 32. Kimjang is a cherished tradition where families come together to make and share kimchi, the iconic spicy fermented cabbage. It's not just about food, it's about community, love, and keeping traditions alive. Number 33. Korea might be known for its bustling cities, but it also has 22 national parks showcasing the natural beauty. From the mountainous terrains of Seorak-san to the serene landscapes of Juri-san, there's a vista for every nature enthusiast. Number 34. Imagine a museum dedicated to makeup. In Seoul, there's a K-beauty museum where visitors can explore the history of Korean beauty and even try out the latest trends. Number 35. Nestled in the south, the Suncheon Bay Wetland Reserve is a vibrant eco-paradise, home to countless bird species and recognized as a significant wetland of international importance. Number 36. On the topic of romance, South Koreans celebrate not just Valentine's Day but also White Day a month later on March 14th. While ladies give chocolates on Valentine's Day, the men reciprocate on White Day with candies. Number 37. Did you know South Korea experiences a monsoon season? Called Jangma, it usually occurs in late June to July, bringing heavy rainfall and a brief respite from the summer heat. Number 38. Craving a late night snack? South Korea's capital, Seoul, has a 24-hour food delivery system. And it's not just fast food, you can get gourmet meals delivered right to your door anytime. Number 39. Hallyu, or the Korean wave, has taken the world by storm. Whether it's K-pop, dramas, or films, Korean entertainment is adored globally, spreading its culture and language. Number 40. Ready for a fiscal fact, South Korea, referred to as the miracle on the Han River, stands proud as the world's 12th largest economy. This meteoric rise underscores the nation's unwavering spirit of innovation and determination. Number 41. Tired of cold floors? South Korea have owned all, a traditional floor heating system. It's an age-old technique where heat from a stove is channeled under the floors, ensuring warmth underfoot throughout winter. Number 42. South Korea has a unique drinking culture. One popular tradition, so may where you mix soju and beer. Just remember, when someone older pours you a drink, hold your glass with both hands as a sign of respect. Number 43. In South Korea, job interviews can sometimes require you to state your blood type. Why? Many Koreans believe blood types determine personalities. For instance, type A is seen as introverted and detail-oriented, while type B is considered passionate and unpredictable. Number 44. Ever tried the dish Sanakji? It's a culinary adventure. Fresh, small octopus is served raw and still moving. Remember, it's customary to chew thoroughly for both flavor and safety. Number 45. The culture of sharing is profound in Korea. Whether it's a dish at a restaurant or a drink with friends, communal enjoyment is a cornerstone of social interactions. And there you have it, adventurers. 45 mesmerizing glimpses into the soul of South Korea. We've navigated its bustling cityscapes, tapped into age-old traditions, and reveled in its dynamic culture. 
If this voyage has ignited your wanderlust, please like, share and subscribe to journey deeper into Asia's gems with us. Until our next adventure, and as the Koreans say, when parting, annyeonggi geseyo!